Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Schramm and I'm a top producing agent in South Orange County. And on this channel I put out tips and tricks, video content for you whether you're buying or selling in today's real estate market. So if that's of interest to you, go ahead and click the little bell icon and subscribe for the latest and greatest content on my channel. All right, let's face it. We all know that buying and selling real estate can be super stressful. Heck, I'm an agent and when I've bought and sold, I'm a professional and it's still even stressful for me. So the agent that you choose to represent you really sets the tone for the transaction and the experience that you ultimately get during this process. So with dozens of agents in your area, how are you gonna know you're making the right choice? Let's go some of, through some of the best questions that you can ask your agent so that you ultimately make the right decision. One, how well does the agent know the area? One of, if not the most important, qualities in an agent is their local market knowledge. That simply means how well do they know the area? Here's why it's important. A local agent like myself in San Clemente, I'm gonna know about buyers who are out there, real live buyer shopping now. I could probably, for every listing appointment I go on, think of two or three buyers for that home before it's even on the market. So working with a local agent is going to give you an advantage because they know where the buyers are coming from. They know about a lot of the listings before they even hit the market. It's super important to pin down, is your agent hyper-local? A second very important question to ask your agent, who are you gonna be working with on the team? You don't wanna get subbed out to an agent who you haven't even met before right after the listing appointment. So asking that question when you're sitting down at your kitchen table, really important that you say, hey, who am I gonna be working with on a daily basis? Three, what's the marketing plan? Lay it out. Don't just tell me, but show me is a great question to ask your agent when you're reviewing all the things that they're gonna be doing to market and sell your home. Four, what's your communication style? How frequently can I expect to hear from you? Those are two great questions because what it does is it sets an expectation. You're letting the agent know, hey, I'm a seller that values open lines of communication. And then two, you're putting, you're putting the agent on the spot to let you know how they answer that question in that moment be very vigilant there because they either have a process for good communication or they don't and they're gonna tell you right then and there. Okay, so we've talked about some questions that are very helpful to ask. Let's talk about some questions that you don't wanna ask that are very unhelpful when you're talking to an agent to list your home. One, how long have you been in the business? Here's the deal. An agent who might have been in the business for decades, I'm talking 30 or 40 years, there's some of those agents out there they might be a fading winner. They might be resting on their laurels and just taking what comes to them. It's very possible that that agent might not be up to speed on the most current, relevant, cutting edge marketing that's actually available in today's market. So don't judge an agent by how many years they've been in the business, say, but a better question to ask is, hey, what's your track record? How many listings have you sold in the last three years? How many buyers have you represented in the last three years? That's gonna give you a really good snapshot of their production and their experience. Question number two not to ask. Hey, how much do you charge? It's important to know what the agent's commission is, yes. However, commissions vary widely. There are full service brokers who pay for everything and more. And then there's discount agents. Uh, so long as real estate has been a business, there are discount agents, meaning they discount their fee. But statistics show, and this is proof, that discount agents sell homes for less money on average than a full service agent. That's a statistic that's been available on the National Association of Realtors website for a very, very long time. So with many things in life, you get what you pay for. So I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I don't even mind if you're in a different state or a different city from South Orange County. I love hearing from my viewers. Feel free to text me or email me or leave a comment below. Thanks so much and take care.